Alexa, set the front yard lights to blue. There we go. And there you go. Alexa, set the living room lights to blue. And the funny part is this is my Philips Hue light. This is my um, LifeX light right here. And if I were to go outside, I have some garden spots that are, that are from Ostrom Lightify. It's kind of like a spin-off of El Camimo. Um, those, you know, extension string lights or whatever they were, but they're actual garden lights that are really cool. Um, they change colors as well, too. And pretty much um, in a nutshell, that's what I wanted to show. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Kalen. And uh, today I'm going to show you something that I'm not sure has been sorted out yet, but... It sure saved a lot of hassle for me, um, and that is getting to change your light bulb color with Alexa. Uh, there are some light bulbs that are directly integrated. I know for a fact with Alexa, like say like LifeX, um, but I remember when I first got Philips Hue, I couldn't change the colors from Alexa and it drove me nuts. And I also knew some of the things that I had linked to my Logitech Harmony, I couldn't change the color with, with Alexa. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it kind of drove me a little nuts. And so what I had found was Basically, you can see here on my uh, Over here on the right I have my phone and I've got all of my lights in here including my LifeX bulb and there's a reason for that And then I've also got my other bulbs in here. You can see them right here. These are my uh, Philips Hue and Then I've got Osram Lightify. Sorry about the background. I've also got my Harmony in here as well, too. Um, because I have it controlling some of my uh, Harmony stuff, but you'll notice over here to the left I don't have Harmony directly integrated and one of the reasons why is just the complexities with smart home If you connect too many things <clears throat> and you have things that are essentially I want to say like Piggybacking off of other things. Let's say you have a, a Vera hub or a Nexia hub or if you've got like um, just any kind of hub really like a wink hub and then you've got let's say Philips Hue integrated with that and then you've got your Philips Hue integrated with something else and then IFTTT it gets really complex and the reason why I say this is is when you actually like change um, say you change I don't know a setting with like let's say one of the end devices let's say you change a setting with LifeX and you've got it connected to Logitech Harmony and then you've got your Logitech Harmony connected to IFTTT and then you've also got it connected to Alexa and you change the name or you change you update it or something like that just for hypothetical sake you have to go through and like change all kinds of things and so it gets really frustrating I had to come in here and like relink everything up and change names and so what I did was I primarily have my Logitech Harmony um, directly connected to my uh, smart things and then I've got my Philips Hue directly connected to my smart things and the reason why was because I could not change colors uh, when I was asking uh, Alexa I don't want to say her name loud because she'll hear me um, but anyways what I'd realized was when I had my Philips Hue uh, integrated with my smart things over here and when I had that directly integrated with um, Alexa then you can see here how it says smart things light and smart things light and then smart things device smart things device and um, you can also see though that I've got my hue in here as well just regular hue and then regular Wemo but you can also see here that I've got smart things switch which this actually is just basically the same thing as this I have Wemo directly connected to this as well as smart things and hue directly connected to this as well as smart things but you'll see down here here's my hue lights they're directly connected to smart things and this was how I was able to actually make it to where I could change colors so the goal or the ultimate like solution would be what you do is you set up your Philips Hue and then you directly integrate it with smart things and then you go ahead and connect your smart things to Alexa and if you can do that it's just a lot more simpler to manage your devices um, in my opinion because then you don't have all these different like say a dozen different integrations that are directly tied to Alexa and then let's say if I don't know let's say if some weird random update happens and you have to reconnect everything um, it's not a ton more work you just have one app that's basically directly connected to all these other you know spin-off apps um, or spin-off devices to where it's just a lot more simpler to manage so in um, example let me just show you real quick okay I'm gonna go ahead and 
I don't want to waste uh, too much time here today, but we're just going to pull up my uh, camera. And this is my, my house right here. And what I'm going to do is you can see this green light over here to the right. It's taking a second because I've got high resolution on my camera here. Alexa, set the front yard lights to blue. And in a second here, you're going to see my front yard lights change to blue. Should be a darker blue from that green. Um, if this uh, lag will catch up here. Oh, actually, it didn't change because I didn't uh, say it loud enough. Alexa, set the front yard lights to blue. There we go. And there you go. Alexa, set the living room lights to blue. And the funny part is this is my Philips Hue light. This is my um, LifeX light right here. And if I were to go outside, I have some garden spot that are, that are from Ostrom Lightify. It's kind of like a spin-off of Belkin Wemo. Um, those, you know, extension string lights or whatever they were, but they're actual garden lights that are really cool. Um, they change colors as well, too. And pretty much um, in a nutshell, that's what I wanted to show um, today because it's been an issue that I've had for a while now. And I had never got around to making a video for it, but I wanted to share what I did there. And so ultimately, it's really not that difficult. So really all you have to do is, you know, you just set up your Hue, you download your app, you, you know, integrate your, uh, you integrate your, oh, that's real nice. I wanted to show you uh, on my phone here. Come on, there we go. Okay, now we're going to be nice. And if I can get this. To load there we go thank you so when you go into hue you're gonna basically set this all up you know get all your lights set up and everything like that and then you want to go over to smart things and then once you get into smart things you're gonna go to this little plus sign up in the top right there you can go to add device manually let me go to light bulbs and then you can go down here and there's all these different light bulbs that you can get connected directly up to smart things. Um, these are all the different Philips Hue lights. Really cool, really easy. Looks like it's got Sanglit as well too. Sylvania, Osram. Um, and then once you get all of those connected, you know, you just simply go in here, over to the left here now. You can see in skills, you can go to smart things. You see Harmony's in here as well. I used to have that integrated and I removed it because it was just a... Uh... Well, actually, I do use it, but I don't use it for my smart lights. I use it for the pause, rewind, and increase, decrease volume with uh, Alexa and like a movie or whatever I'm watching on my TV because it's really cool how it works with the uh, activities these days, um, which that's the newer one, I believe. But um, anyways, then you're going to go ahead and enable this and then basically from there it's going to have you log into smart things and you have to have your um your your smart things account it has to be the updated version where you link it up to samsung this happened about three weeks ago but once you authorize it it's going to give you an option to select all the devices that you want to integrate and bring into your home um, and it's really cool because once you have that integrated then you just go in here and you hit discover and it'll start automatically recognizing any new things that you add to it and as seamless as that and so from the, the reason why I'm saying all this is because when you add like a new light or you integrate something else and let's say it is integrated with smart things hopefully then basically you just add that device in the smart things app and you come over here and hit the discover button and it will automatically detect it or if you need to update one you can just change the name I mean I did that literally just before I made this video I did that with my LifeX light. You can see it right here. I don't know why there's two of them. Not sure about that, but um, probably because I, I I don't know exactly. It probably is just something going on with um, you know uh, the Smart Things integration, or maybe just a combination with LifeX and Smart Things. But uh, I just literally changed out my front porch light with this light instead of my uh, Philips Hue light because I really like the rich color a lot more. So. And there's a lot of other things you can do too with smart things. You can create virtual switches, and I'm using Trigger CMD as you can see here to um, use my Raspberry Pi. It wakes up my computers, either my laptop or my desktop. It uses a magic packet, and so when they're asleep, it sends like a little ping, like a little packet of data to wake it up. 
and tell it wake up and then I also have some other commands here and this is using trigger CMD <clears throat> and it runs you know straight scripts like or commands from your command prompt basically on your computer to where it's integrated with uh, smart things and you can set up a virtual switch to where you can control your computer as well and so just an example of all the different things you can uh, integrate uh, there's a lot of different things in here but I just wanted to give a quick video hint on what I did to make it a little bit easier for mine thanks for watching and uh, make sure to subscribe and if you want any videos, any requests, go ahead and send them my way.